Welcome back to the Kurdu Game Lab tutorial series. In lesson 2, we're going to have a look at adding player characters and then having a look at adding enemies. In this part, part 1, we'll look at the player character basics. Now, what we'll need to do first of all when we start a new world is usually just give ourselves a bit more world to play with. So I'll very quickly expand the world just to give myself a little bit more room. Next, we need to add an object. In order to do that, we'll need to select the Kurdu and left click somewhere on the ground. Now, we have a choice of characters here. We can use the Kurdu, who is quite slow and cumbersome. We can use the Rover, who is used mainly for scientific research. Or we can use some of the characters in this menu here. My personal favourite is the Cycle, as he's fast, nippy and makes an exciting character to play as. Once you've added your character, we need to be able to program him to move. In order to program a character, still make sure that the Kurdu object tool is selected, and then right click on the character to bring up a submenu. From here, you can select the program option, which will bring up this menu. Now, programming in Kurdu works with a when do method. So, when the keyboard is pressed, do move. That's the sort of principle. So let's have a look at this. To begin with, we want our character to move when we use our chosen control method. So if I click the when button, you can see at the top here we have gamepad, keyboard and mouse. Or even touch. For me, today I'm going to use the keyboard. So when I press the keyboard and I use the WASD keys, again you can use the arrows or anything of your choice, I'm going to do and from here, I'm going to move my character. There are other options you can add to this, but this is the basics to begin with. To get out of this menu, press escape. And then to try it out to make sure it works, you need to actually click play. So as you can see, I'm now pressing the WASD keys, and my character is moving quite freely. You can also, at this point in time, change the camera view. Rolling the mouse wheel forward will zoom in, and if you keep going all the way to the end, you'll get to a first-person perspective, so you can run around as if you're playing a first-person shooter. Obviously, if you zoom out, you can go as far out as you like, or you can orbit the camera with the right mouse button to go top-down or side-on. That's the basic movements for this character at the moment. Later on we'll look at more advanced things like changing his speed, settings, making him jump and making him shoot. But this is how you get your character moving. 